in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as discourse analysis. Listeners and ideas, I started the topic in discourse analysis and it is textuality and seven standards of textuality. Today, I'm going to teach you the fourth standard of textuality and it is acceptability. What is acceptability? And what is the practical example of acceptability and textuality? Listeners and ideas, whenever we are talking about acceptability, it is actually the attitude of the receivers and the readers towards the text of a writer. Whenever a writer he has written a text and the receivers or the readers they are reading the text of the author now it is uh, it actually depends upon the receivers and the readers that how they respond how they react and what kind of attitude they reveal toward the text. But remember that it is also related to the author and the speaker, but sorry, particularly to the author and the writer, that how he has uh, organized the text. And I think this concept will be very clear to you when I provide practical example. Listeners and ideas, for example, you know there are some things which are accepted by people and there are some things which are also rejected by people. For example, there is a person and he offers you or presents you a gift, definitely you will receive that gift, you will accept that gift. On the other hand, there is another person and he presented a gift to you. You will accept that gift. Why? Because that is acceptable, that, that is something which is appreciated by others. On the other hand, if there is a person and he offers you a pinch of dust or soil or many other things definitely uh, that will be rejected by you or other people. So some things are acceptable and some things are rejectable by you and by others. Same is the case if you were text. If the text of an author is informative, logical, valid, authentic and based on reasoning. It has uh, causes and effects. Definitely those who are the receivers and readers, they will accept the test. They will accept it because of the clear and informative way. So to make it short, a text is accepted by the readers due to informativity, authenticity, logical and reasoning base and so many other ways like if a text is cohesive and coherent. So hope that this topic is clear to you.